In this problem, we want to write the equivalent fractions of the least common denominator. So we've got 5 twelfths, and we've got 1 eighth. Well, first let's figure out what our uh, least common denominator is. First step is we have to uh, write prime factorization of each number down, the 12 and the 8. If I do the tree, 12 is divisible by 2, 2 times 6. 2 is prime, so we circle it. 6 is divisible by 2, 2 times 3. 2 is prime, so we circle it, and 3 is prime, so we circle it. So this is 2 times 2 times 3. Now 8, it's divisible by 2, 2 times 4. 2 is prime, so we circle it. And 4 is 2 times 2. 2 is prime, so we circle it, and 2 is prime, so we circle it. So we've got uh, three twos. Now our least common denominator. We'll start with our first prime, which is two. And I'm looking for the greatest number of twos on any single line. There's two of them here. There's three of them here. So the greatest number of twos on any single line is three. And I go to three. I'm looking for the greatest number of threes on any single line. There's one here, none here. So the greatest number of threes is one. So two, four, eight times three is 24. So we got uh, 5 twelfths, and we want to rewrite it with our new denominator. Now you ask yourself, what did you multiply by 12 to get 24? And that's 2. So you have to multiply the top part by 2. So 5 times 2. And that gives us 10 24ths. Now there are other fraction, 1 8th. We want to rewrite it with our new denominator. You ask yourself, what did you multiply times 8 that gave you 24? And that would be 3. So you have to multiply the top part by 3. And 1 times 3 gives us 3 24s. And those would be our answers.